Today we're illustrating how to collect the dust produced when using a bandsaw. We're using a Forest Model 230 vertical blade bandsaw. We've removed the table just to illustrate what's going on. And we have a Forest Model 989 dust collection system. Dust collection system connected through the hose to what we call a dust collection nozzle. This particular dust collection system has been in use in our shop for about 20 years, so hopefully you'll forgive its somewhat dusty appearance, but they last 20 years. Dust collection system that includes two barrels. The first barrel is basically under vacuum. This dust motor pulls air up through this first barrel and ejects it into the second barrel. So the air and dust is pulled in through this hose into this barrel where large heavy items like nuts, bolts, whatever can fall to the bottom and then air and dust, uh, anything that won't damage the impeller blade, is blown through the muffler and into the second barrel with a dust bag where it's collected. The most effective way to collect dust is at the point where the blade first exits the workpiece. We call this our dust nozzle. It wraps around the blade just below the level of the table such that when the blade exits the workpiece full of dust, this pulls all of the dust off the blade before it can get into the cabinets or into the air onto your shop floor. We have a trick for increasing the effectiveness of this. You can see here we have a slot here and on the underside to allow the blade to be loaded in. Well, that blade is a, uh, an escape path for vacuum. I don't have pretty language for this, but basically we want the vacuum to be focused up, not coming out here or going down. So as a cheap, easy fix, I like to use blue contractor's tape, painter's tape, to mask off this slot. The front, of course, underneath here and I'll also put it all the way on the underside and I'll let it just rub against the blade. It's not going to hurt anything. Put that like that. That like that. With that tape in place, we're not going to lose any vacuum or pull any air any place other than right here where it does us some good. It really makes a significant difference when running this machine. So when you turn the dust collection system on, inflates because air is being blown into here and the dust is being trapped in here. We're pulling a significant vacuum right, right there, but not here. Now we've mounted a table on the saw. You can see, just make out, the dust nozzle here just beneath the table surface. So when we make a cut, the blade will exit the workpiece, pull the dust down, get captured. I'll do a test cut with the dust collection system operating to show its effectiveness. Then I'll turn it off. You can see plumes of dust resulting if you don't use a dust collection system.
Let's try it now without the dust buster system operating. Without the dust collection system, you start to get dust everywhere, including accumulating under here. And that's why we run a dust collection system.